Good morning. It's so great to be here with all of you. Since 2015, you have acted fast to solve big problems, closing over 67 million GitHub issues. You have seen big ideas straight through the end, merging over 180 million pull requests. And all up since 2015, you have sparked over 320 million public projects on GitHub. This past year, we saw a generational boom in AI creation. In 2024 alone, there was a 98% year-over-year growth in new AI projects on GitHub. Python is so heavily used across machine learning and AI development. Python has risen to become the number one programming language on GitHub, surpassing JavaScript. <laughs> Just over three years ago, GitHub Copilot was launched into the world, and today, Copilot is still the most adopted AI developer tool on the planet. So first off, we're tearing down that waitlist for OpenAI01. All Copilot users now have public access to O1 Preview and O1 Mini. Today, I'm excited to announce a new partnership with Anthropic, bringing the power of Claude to GitHub Copilot. We're thrilled to share a partnership with Google, bringing Gemini 1.5 Pro to GitHub Copilot. Let's talk about the Copilot experience in VS Code. Copilot for multi-file editing is now available. So I can just save all of that, accept it. GitHub Copilot custom instructions. It's a file that you add inside of your GitHub folder, and it's just a markdown file called Copilot instructions. And you can just say what you want Copilot to do. And this has been one of our most requested features. Everything you just saw in the demo, all of these features, this is your brand new experience for uh, VS Code from multi-file editing to model selection to custom instructions to GitHub search to intent detection to repo indexing, even things you didn't see like code referencing and code review. All of this is going to be available to every single Copilot user, whether you're an individual, a business, or an enterprise this week. We're coming to you, Apple developers. GitHub Copilot is available in Xcode today. In public preview, devs who build for the Apple ecosystem can now leverage the power of GitHub Copilot as they develop, test, and deploy. With GitHub Models, you can go from model to playground to deployment in no time. We launched this summer with the latest and greatest in the industry. Today, we're thrilled to share that we've added even more amazing models to the platform, from Cohere Command to Bria AI to OpenAI01. I'm so excited to share today that GitHub Models, including the App Models extension, is available today to all GitHub users. On April 29th, we launched a technical preview of Copilot Workspace. Already, our early users have created more than 15,000 pull requests using Workspace. And over 10,000 of those pull requests have merged. Since the start of the technical preview, we have made over 100 changes to Copilot Workspace. We've added two new agents at the two ends of the workflow, one for ideation called Brainstorm and one for building and repairing code. We've also released a VS Code extension. So let's add a feature that lets us add an image to each of these posts. One of my team members has already described our needs here on a GitHub issue. Brainstorm has already shared a few suggested questions for me to get started with some ideas or I can even ask my own. You can see that just like that, Brainstorm has shared a few suggested ideas for me. I'm going to click on Add to Task, and you can see that Copilot Workspace has picked up the ideas from a brainstorming session for its context. So now, it's not just a GitHub issue, but Copilot Workspace derives context from multiple sources. We made some great enhancements to the commands that you can perform in Copilot Workspace. Build, test, and run are pretty common scenarios, and you can see that I have the commands for that configured right over here. So I can run my tests right here within Copilot Workspace, which will run my tests for me. So with the new build and repair agent, Copilot Workspace will help me come up with a solution. And there's one more thing that I didn't show you. Copilot Workspace is also expanding to pull requests. Well, today I got one more advancement to show you. An advancement that fundamentally blurs the line between a developer and the everyday person. Introducing GitHub Spark. GitHub Spark is an AI-native tool to build applications entirely in natural language. 
It's not an IDE in the classic sense. I don't have to install Python first or, or figure out how sudo works with homebrew. I see an input field of what I'm going to create. Here's my prompt, create a tic-tac-go game with ducks and hippos. And I click go. And now what happens is that the model behind the scenes does all the work for me. Here's my tic-tac-toe game. And of course, I want Mu Dang to win, right? The hippo needs to win. So here's the duck. Um, let's see if I can still. Here's my Mu Dang. Let's say the duck is playing it. Um, cool. Um, and yes, you know, win. And I, let me show, show you real quick at the bottom here. So I can obvious, obviously, you know, add another uh, prompt here to refine my spark. I can theme it. So, you know, um, I want light theme because it's bright out here in, in San Francisco. I can change the scale of my game. Let's see, a little bit bigger is cool. I can change the accent color. Uh, I can make all kinds of changes uh, really quickly to the, to the UI. Um, I can click into my settings and add it custom instructions. And I can store data in a, in a key value store that is backed by Azure Cosmos DB. Now, before I keep iterating here and uh, run down the clock, um, my team has prepared an app um, behind the scenes that scans the conference badges. You see every single step along the way. You see all the prompts that they have tapped, so a lot of prompts you know, to get to this point uh, for the demo. And you can obviously also click on those and, and scroll back in history. But the cool thing, it actually worked. I scan my badge, and there's my <laughs> photo, my name, my handle, and so on. This is one of the examples of a personal application that I can use. And so this is the power of GitHub Spark in, in, a, in a very short demo. We can't be more excited. We couldn't be more excited to get it into your hands very soon. Thank you for tuning in and for being here.